right now in our history, we are more divided than I have seen. I know that we have been divided before, but in my lifetime, we are, we are quite divided. And what discourages me is when I hear Christians speak about race and racial reconciliation with no hope. I've seen people say that there is no hope for change, that there is no way that people can change. But if the gospel is true, if we believe that the gospel is true, then there is hope for change. There's hope for the person who is racist. They can change. There is hope for our church. We can be united. Will there continue to be a struggle? Yes, until Jesus returns, we're going to struggle with this. But there is hope. And I pray that our Christian church, that people who are Christians will proclaim this hope, proclaim the hope that is in the gospel. That, so that is what discourages me. But what encourages me is that I am seeing more and more people talk about this. I see people who have never, ever considered what does it mean that all people are created in the image of God? What does that mean? What does it mean that Jesus tore the veil of hostility and that we can be united? What does that mean? What does that not just mean for the church, but what does that mean for me personally? And that brings me hope and great encouragement to see that people who have not considered these topics and what it means from the scriptures, that from Genesis 1 all the way through Revelations, God is addressing this topic that God is creating a people for himself and he will one day one day we will see it we will see this fulfilled this desire in our heart for unity that we see in the gospel we'll see it fulfilled and people are talking about this that encourages my heart and I hope it encourages you too